And this year, to our delight, something that motivated us very big this year is that um, the sixth largest recruiter, sir, is our own incubator, Agnipool, which has uh, recruited 16 people. And uh, mostly when they become, uh, they will become successful in their first launch. I think sky is the limit for them. <laughs> More than sky is the limit for them. I think this is the rate at which we are moving. And so, I just wanted to take this opportunity and talk about what government has done, or how government is trying to help us in this. At least put a vision for the higher, higher education institutions and also the uh, industry to take this entire e &I as a concept forward and see how, uh, you know, it can influence, it can influence all of us uh, and specifically the young students to take up problems of national interest, national relevance and solve them. Another important point, I think many of us agree, I think uh, I have united Krishnan, Krishnan is from Ashok Leyland. Some of the most complex engines that are going on to many of the Ashok Leyland uh, uh, vehicles are designed by Krishna. Uh, he is from REC, as well REC Trichy. So he can he can also pitch in and tell what Atmanirbhara essentially is. And of course, Murugapan sir, uh, you know, all of you will know. Uh, you know, he runs some of the most important, uh, uh, you know, uh, educational institutions. Oh, sir. Basically, the Murugapa Polytechnic that you know. Then you should visit the one in Avadi here. Uh, you can see some of the very, very interesting things that he has brought in. And these are people who can basically, and also welcome to Shankar. Uh, uh, so, these are the people who can basically talk about, uh, you know, solving problems for India. And I also strongly believe with the diversity that we have in our country, if we solve a problem for our nation, we have solved something global. Vaccine that worked in US did not work here. Because eight and a half degrees was the reason. But the vaccine that worked in India worked in US. So as far as it can matter, go between 8 degrees to 32 degrees. We have some Chirapunji, we have some Ladakh, Leh, and then we have some Rajasthan, Desert, Dark. Okay. So you get this. So the problem that we solve for India will solve the problem for the entire nation. So if we get a lo good local market, if we, we are able to cover the entire India with a product or a variety, a series of products, with that series, we can actually convert the world. This is one uh, basic uh, ideas that we are getting. So, I also thought that the, see, in a large democracy, right, person has a vision and that has to go to implementation. Monkey bath has played a very important role. Many of us are inspired by this monkey bath. And that uh, when the 100th episode of this is coming next week, Many of us thought, we had our IIT council meeting, we also thought that let us see what monkey bath has brought in, how monkey bath has been utilized in this uh, nation with uh, uh, 140 crore population, how a vision of a prime minister gets implemented and how that systematically it has happened and with specific emphasis on entrepreneurship and innovation. So I will make a very short presentation. Of, um, like this, around 15 to 20 minutes, then we will open up for discussion and then see how we can go forward. Can IIT do something like this? Can Prabhu have a monkey bath every uh, every month where he talks about innovation? He can bring in people also, he can collect thoughts and every month can we have a monkey bath and how it gets implemented, how quickly we can implement. These are the uh, things that we would like to take. The ultimate interest for us is that we would like to place our kids in our own incubator company. We have some representative, uh, Sharan Shashwat. Uh, Sharan is our PhD student, he's already a CTO. Uh, Shashwat is his partner here, and they have Mind Grow, a company which is going to make chips. They got recently they got the second phase funding of around two million dollars. Semiconductor startup in Chennai getting some money is something very, very, very difficult and we have managed. So these are some success stories we have. 
there are many such so have the anirudh sir the current uh, student and ceo of the latest startup from incubation sir oh, from an incubation sir okay and nirman so we will we would like to start because we have some vision we have been telling about this again and again let us see how to put it in action okay so this i am just using monkey bath as a platform to basically talk about uh, this uh, this agenda and i feel that this is a very successful uh, you know direct people connect program in the world's largest democracy 140 crores how do i reach the first next slide i can move it. so monkey bath essentially when we translate it from hindi it is basically inner thoughts right and uh, so when we look at all these episodes what was inspiring to me in particular was that there were certain vision statements that have been there were certain aspirations that have been then there were certain ideas of how to transform your vision aspirations into uh, real real action all these three had been brought out in some form in a very very interesting manner right and that is what uh, monkey bath i felt or personally why i was you know attracted towards this now this is certainly a sort of a, a transformational outreach program through exponential connect right it was not that one because today we would have still there are villages where there are no uh, you know tvs but there are radio will reach more the maximum number of people and uh, so this is a platform where he started directly communicating and interacting with the citizens of the nation and he also made certain very interesting technology see when we look at digital mode of education technology aided education friends please note that 1950 all india radio started this music education program right it's called in tamil it was sai marabu there was a sudesh mitran on paper which used to print those Uh, you know, on that day morning, today twelve o'clock program, the notations of those uh, song and the lyrics of those songs is, is used to come in on press in today's news. And there'll be one eminent teacher, like you know, somebody like uh, Bala Murli Krishna, who used to teach this. <coughs> so even nook and corner, some music aspirant sitting in the rural, most rural village, had access to very quality music. And this happened in nineteen fifties. So India has been experimenting this type of an education through technology for quite some time, and so this is something I think that's a great inspiration that the Prime Minister has chosen to reach out to an exponential large public through the All India Radio medium. So, and very importantly, I have a vision. I am yet to implement it, but my vision I am able to go and share as an head of the country to the entire population. and that is something which is very very important and at the earliest possible stage right so if you look at october 2014 till today 99 monkey bath programs have been had and through these programs what are the most important three things that had come we have talked about lot of social welfare programs we did the we did uh, something like uh, for the monkey bath one that, that is the first term of uh, the prime minister we did the world club world club and what came in the center was people right the second uh, second uh, episode we did it just came as one world right and that is where this g20 if you look at unprecedented g20 has been conducted for long long countries since we are not, uh, so you know many times i don't know what was the outcome but this year the outcome if you see there were workshops there were seminars there was huge involvement if you go to any city today there was some g20 poster people knew what is g20 so these were some of the real uh, you know way by which the vision of the government quickly propagated and then there were lot of inspiring achievements which were highlighted simple things i'll give you some very interesting stories and then motivational stories of many common individuals today even if you look at the way some of the awards are given there are people who just sat and they were giving rotis to a set of people tribal people enabling them to go to school for 30 years 40 years they are now chosen for some of the highest awards i think these are some of the very interesting transformations that came through monkey bath because 
when we look at uh, some of the conversations that have happened uh, somebody who ran a library in a rural school a rural village and that conversation started happening so these are very interesting things even when uh, we have started iitm for all when we want to reach the uh, uh, you know the rural most rural things this rural interaction center which is run by pravartak and uh, said we have now 100 rural interaction centers in 68 villages of tamil nadu and 100 rural interaction centers in 100 villages of varanasi district and today uh, gujarat and uh, and madhya pradesh we are trying to make more centers andhra is now coming forward so we want to have iit madras rural interaction centers uh, across the country right and these type of inspirations basically came when uh, when i wanted to start this program specifically from this type of an interaction right so <laughs> so that and importantly all the government infrastructure were effectively utilized for this for example dd national dd news all india radio have been taking up as a media to address the indian public and in, immediately after one hour of this there was a systematic way by which this was translated into you know the multiple regional language and these regional languages things were broadcasted in a continual form and importantly television is still not available in many remote areas and all india radio has been selected as one of its medium and it is estimated that the total 90% of the population in india is reachable through radio and still it continues and people who travel on the car you know they can just keep listening and these are something uh, very very interesting about this <clears throat> and very importantly what attracts many of us is uh, as academicians or industry is that this monkey bath, if you look at very carefully, there's not even a tinge of a political influence. And uh, rather the problems associated with every citizen of India was discussed. And uh, so if you look at uh, the, uh, the statements, like he asked public to buy Khadi clothes, promote the Swach Bharat Abhyan, which was very important. He discussed about drug abuse. He motivated students for exams, spoke about serious issues like condition of Indian farmer, digital India, startup India, stand up India, yoga, vocal for local. So if you look at the type of topics that have been covered, it is quite phenomenal and it goes uh, in a very large way. So, so this is all. Uh, I just want to tell you why I got inspired about uh, Monkey Bath and why I'm using that as a platform to in this particular workshop. Now, let us look at today's topic where we are looking at innovation, entrepreneurship and startups and what is it that we have got uh, through this. See, uh, in our nation's context, innovation, entrepreneurship and startup have a different and subtle significance. Right? This is not that we see across like it is not a Silicon Valley startup is not equal to a Chennai startup Chennai or a Bangalore startup, right? We have something much beyond that we want to. It's something like 4G versus 5G, right? 5G is not 4G plus. 5G is an economic transformer. It is not that I will have SDTV, uh, you know, I will also have SDTV, you know, level entertainment broadcast when I'm sitting in my village. But in addition, ID is going to be an economic transform. So, like this, the connotation of uh, innovation, entrepreneurship and startup in our country is much different. And what is amazing for me is that we will go through some of the monkey bath episodes and the Prime Minister has indeed articulated it very nicely. And let us see how he has articulated it. Okay. Um, see, certainly entrepreneurship startups are considered important engines for growth and jobs generation. It is through innovation and scalable technology that which are more focused, fine-tuned for immediate and relevant application in the uh, fine, uh, in the local market and that which is readily tappable in our country, startups generate social impacts and solutions thereof. Thus, they accelerate socio-economic development and transformation. So, it is not that we want to make a startup which by which I go, I sell, I make money and I go. I'm, we are not venture capitalists. For example, I want to now draw a line to what uh, Prabhu has been doing. The homo sep robo. He did not do it for profit. 
right? He did it for removing manual scavenging in our country. God had it on that uh, on the fourth or fifth time, fifth panchayat when the Prabhu sent that uh, homosexual logo. Supreme Court gave a verdict saying that you know no more manual scavenging in the country. So this coincided, and that on that day we say, oh, I have a solution for this. Immediately I could write to uh, the Ministry of uh, Housing and Urban uh, Development. Sir, we have a solution. Supreme Court has told us, yes, we have a solution. That is why we made the startup. Another interesting example is our JNK operations, uh, which that are Bharos, right? We did it that not for making the profit that we want an indigenous operating system. We want to get ourselves out of the you know clutches of some of the other operating systems, which actually steals data from India. From national security perspective, from privacy perspective, we want to have that system. And when we did it, again, fate had it. Like 4:30, we have uh, 4:30 uh, Supreme Court announced uh, an uh, anti, uh, you know, uh, competition bill against you know one of the major uh, operating system providers. And five o'clock, we had this function where we said India has our own operating system. So when we look at these startups, we are now trying to solve problems for India. Like mine grow. If I take this example of mine grow, they are going to make chips. They are not making chips just to make money. Like all of these fellows are contented fellows. I must say it all the. But they are now making this chip to basically you now display some of the foreign fellows today. Where you have a mobile phone, when I want to understand the security inside that mobile phone, I have to depend upon a foreign vendor, and they are not releasing. I have to go to the prime minister's office to make them basically tell what is it. That is inside. I have to go to the minister's office, right? So, so this is where we have this technology dependency, and these are the things that are motivated. These fellows have been getting plum salary, more than more than a director salary for sure. <laughs> Why did they leave and come here? But because of this motivation. So you understand. So they so in in our Indian context, it is that that we want to solve our own problem, and we want to become self-sufficient. So the connotation of an entrepreneurship. Uh, and uh, innovation and startup in our country is difficult. Uh, is much different than what is done in Silicon Valley. That much we can tell you. Okay. So with this, let us proceed on this particular topic. Woman. Yeah. <clears throat> so in India, there were three buzzwords: innovation, entrepreneurship, and start startups. This has been evolving since late nineteen nineties. Uh, and specifically, this got a very good uh, impression when uh, during the uh, Vajpayee's time, where you no, know, the main thing was our Pokhran Trust was a very interesting thing developed there, where there were many indigenous technologies used because the moment I we go and acquire the foreign technology, the program atomic cells nuclear test would have not been possible, right? So it was completely indigenous. People understood a lot of things, and you know there is a very good movie on the Pokhran uh, testing. I think, uh, if, uh, Prabhu, you should uh, please convince our uh, film division to put that movie on one of these technology days in O A T. Okay, sure. We did not be. Uh, we did not take it on a Saturday. Then people will group do it on a other some other day. But all our C F I people and many motivated. You have thousand two hundred kids, right? If I let them come and see this, so. That is where we really started looking at India as a you know self 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 sustaining nation because that type of a test would not have possible uh, if we had actually started importing technology because people would have known about those things. So so acknowledging this, uh, Prime Minister in July 2016 in a Man Ki Baat episode number 22 gave this Atal Innovation Mission and Atal Tinkering Lab. Both have been backed by NTR. Today it has grown to a good level. Where many startups have come, many technologies have come. So, so in our uh, in national context, we had a different connotation. So, entrepreneurship could not mean just availing business opportunities for profiteering. It was more about transformation to develop a willingness to do hard work, evolve from time lapse and constraining mindsets. And thus bringing transformation at multiple levels from individual, societal, and prosperity of which the last includes availing business opportunities. Right? Innovation again in our national context is more about bringing in new changes and new paradigms of growth for affecting entrepreneurship. 
and startups are not just about tall talks related to IT. This is also something we have no startups. If you look at the startups within our own IIT Madras incubation cell or within C5 the ideas, it is not just IT. We have some IT, but then lot more of core technologies that we are bringing. So these are some of the ideas perfectly articulated in January 2016, and these uh, these statements had been coming through the monkey touch, which has been an inspiration not of understanding what we mean of entrepreneurship, innovation and startup in an Indian context. Right. Now, right. So, when we start looking at multiple things, so these were, you know, uh, he talked about Panchatantra, right? How do we go about innovation, entrepreneurship and startup? This was a roadmap for IIT Madras, right? First, education, then provide an opportunity, then provide inspiration, then an ambition, then finally with Dark. If you look at what we have done, C5, thanks to Shankar, uh, so Shankar and Sudha Block, right? Many of you are part of it. What happens in C5? We provide you education, then through C5, we give you the opportunity, right? And the inspiration. And then comes the ambition that comes in Nirman, where you want to make a startup. And then finally, to make it a unicorn, you do hard. So, our entire stack has been fit into this Panchatantra, which we have been working on. So, this is the Panchatantra of IIT Madras also. Right? And then when we start looking at <coughs> many things, like he started the Swachata Abhyan. Then he said that it is not just Swachata for environment. It should have a clean and transformative mindset and approach eliminating the dirt in the mindset and cleaning the mindset. So, we need to have a pro What do you mean by dirt? Like, we need to have a very clear-cut vision of pushing it and this is one part and some of these very interesting statements like you know what you need to achieve first you need to have a desire then you need to have a stability and that will give you a resolution and that resolution with action will give you a solution. right this is very clear so so when you have a desire in c5 you get a stability because c5 funds you correct you want to do something, night 24, Raka, 7, you have something, you go there, it will fund you. That stability is given. From that, you have a resolution saying you can do it. From that resolution, you put some action, you get this achievement. So, again, this also fit very well. So, and very importantly, what we are also telling is, this transformation should be a healthy competition within yourself. Like yesterday, I was like this, today, I am a better person. How do I compete with the yesterday of me? And that is also very, very interesting. And right education, right opportunity, inspiration and drive and willingness to do hard work will take you to this, uh, uh, you know, innovation, entrepreneurship and startup. And this idea has been in a very good place, even for our context. So, <clears throat> so again, uh, the one of the thing is that multiple times, after these type of Atal Tinkering Lab and Atal Innovation Mission and these type of transformative statements have come, multiple times like July 2015 and again, uh, again in, uh, in multiple times, he has been, even before announcing this, the Prime Minister has been stressing the importance of science and technology, highlighting that they are DNA of the day. At this point of time, I still remember 2015, the imprint came. The imprint is uh, impact of, you know, technology and there were 20 domains and then there was 1000 crores allotted for it. IIT Madras also got some projects. So basically these were fundamental projects where some ministry and uh, ministry of uh, that time human resource development joined together and uh, gave a lot of projects in defense sector, in agriculture sector, in water, many, many ministries said that. And similar in, in electronics, for example. Then things like Uchatar Avishkar Yojana came, where, you know, industry started participating and uh, institute, 75% from institute, 25% from it. And one of the biggest things that we got as is our advanced manufacturing uh, uh, center, AMTDC, which is again a 75-25 type of environment. So all these things came at, at all these government schemes were introduced from 2015 onwards after this type of a statement that there is science and technology is important. And then, then the national mission on cyber physical systems. So we have got a hub, 20, all 23 IITs got a hub. Now that quantum mission. So fundamental science and technology research 
has been consistently been encouraged through these type of uh, activities post 2015 and urging the youth of the country to dream about becoming a scientist and imbibe interest in the field of research and innovation that has been consistently told as a part of these episodes right now after the announcement of atal innovation mission these are some of the things like there is an atal innovation mission how many people will know about it so these are some of the very interesting articulations that had come so he has thought of he actually said that atal innovation mission is to forge a vibrant chain of innovation experiment and entrepreneurship which could also enhance the possibility of new employment generation and similarly on the atal tinkering labs it's an initiative and linking them with local incubation centers with an outlay of rupees 10 crore for incubation centers and 10 lakh for each atal tinkering lab so this entire process of trying to have an innovation mission where there are some tinkering labs and then an incubation so you tinker here and then you have a, a, a incubator there and that is also precisely what we have said cfi is a tinkering lab and nirman is a pre incubator and our incubation cell we have five incubators you know uh, 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 do you know how many incubator what are those five incubators in iit madras there is a bio incubator there is a uh, cyber physical system incubator there is a health technology incubator there is a rural technology incubator and of course the mother incubator here and the mother incubator takes in tech and other things also so so that this end a setup of you need to have some experimental facility and there should be funding for it and then there should be an incubation which will be directly linked to it and any good idea it will put and capture and take it forward that set of a stack this has been articulated in this monkey bar in a language understandable to 140 crore that is the most important thing here. and then the other grand challenges which was another part where i start recognizing this right so uh, so they shall also search for solutions taking the path of technology doing research applying innovations and bring this novelty on board so this is also something which started for a vc to recognize you know in sanskrit there is a statement loko pujita pujita that's why we first say you are all great then only the industry will say great so i tell you prabhu you should start saying my teams are the best only when you start saying you make them the best and start saying that they are the best then only the vcs will start saying this and that is why he did atal grand challenges and i am sure there are some many atal grand challenge winners who are today having a successful startup with the phase 2 phase 3 funding so this is also a very interesting thing that came out of this and this is something which is very very important like it is everything is not about it so these are all some of the things that came out in uh, may 2016 there is a misconception among the people that startup means it related talks very sophisticated business no the startup events cleared this misconception let me tell you startup around it is a small part life is big needs are endless startup also brings innumerable opportunities they have so then he gives some four examples they have ventured towards startup and met me in sikkim they work in agriculture field in northeast and do the global marketing of herbal and organic produce he has an online kitchen startup and he undertakes the work of transporting tiffins to the middle class people he has made up his mind to work for the farmers especially the animal feed if our animals get good feed then we'll get good milk and if we get good milk then the young people of our country will be powerful see the thought process very nice one he started agri storage startup you must visit uh, amurgappa polytechnic they now have a, a very nice uh, you know um, uh, uh, i what i saw was a two ton storage where you know they use phase change material solar powered you can now pour a coin put it in one remote location morning by solar it will get powered that ac will be running in the phase change material that charge will be stored or at night the same ac will be running so you can put a tomato inside that and it will be good for last at least 7 8 days So what happens to a farmer today? Why is this very important? What happens to a farmer today? Today he he doesn't have cold storage. So tomorrow morning his tomato will become rotten. So people will go and do a desperate sale. So he will sell it for one rupee. Then this fellow will put inside cold storage. Then he will bring in and sell it for 
50 rupees a kg. If you go to Esanpura in, uh, in uh, Bangalore, Bangalore Takali, that uh, tomato will be 2 rupees, you know, 10 kgs, 2 rupees also I have seen in Esanpura. So 1 kg will be 100 rupees. So, farmer, see, fine, I, I am learning, you are all sitting in AC room, you are not literally slogging on the field, okay, we will buy it. But then that produce doesn't go to the farmer, it goes to some intermediate. So, these are some solutions which he has thought of. The last one, uh, uh, sir, uh, we will send a team to your polytechnic. Yeah. Uh, you should see those type of innovations. It will be arranged. Uh, okay. I have started Agri Storage Startup. They are developing the bulk storage system for agricultural products with scientific fruit storage system. Means lots of suggestions have come and you send more. I will feel good and if I have to talk about startup repeatedly in my monkey bath, like I do every time for cleanliness, will do so for startups as well as your power is our inspiration. So please note these very interesting uh, statements. And this is where, this is a very, in my opinion, this December 2015 talk was a very interesting thing that motivated several of us, right? Uh, <clears throat> my dear young friends, I had some preliminary discussions about Startup India, Stand Up India in my speech on 15th August in the report. After that, all government departments started discussing it. See, see how a speech is influencing us. Can India become a startup capital? Can our states work together for new startups for youth and encourage innovations with startups, be it in the manufacturing sector, service sector or agriculture? Everything should be new, new ways and new thinking. After all, the world does not move ahead without innovation. Startup India, Stand Up India brings in a huge opportunity for the young generation. My dear young friends, the government will launch the entire action plan for Startup India, Stand Up India on 16 January. What it will be, how it will be and why it will be, you will be presented with a structure in this program, all IITs, IIMs, Central Universities, NITs, wherever there is young generation, they will be brought together via life connectivity. And this happened, right? So, this is something which is... So, look at this type of... So, at least now when we go to the ministry and I say about Startup they are looking at us with some okay, with some more uh, you know uh, respect, right? And that is something which is very very important, right? And then comes this whole transformation. This is one case study I just wanted to put where people start about digital payments. See, look, 2020, 2019 was 2020 was Corona, right? March. This is happening on 2016, where. He built in, building a narration towards the necessity of digital payments. And also, there was a demonetization effort at that point. Right? So, so this is also very important here. We have to build a modern India. We have to make a transparent India. We have to make many services uniformly available across the entire country. See, he also wanted to bring in this direct transfer, by which, you know, there is no intermediary who takes a commission. And that's why he brings in the transfer in there. So, we will have to change some of our old habits as well. There was a time when there were no coins, no currency notes. There was a barter system. Now, times have changed. The whole world is moving towards a cashless society. And now he talks about, we need not worry about keeping an account. The account will be maintained automatically. In the beginning, it may appear to be a bit difficult. But once we get used to it, then this arrangement. Today, Google Pay, how many people carry cash? Right? The amount of transaction even within IIT today is now 99% cashless. I have, we have closed the cash section here. Something <laughs> called the cash section, we have closed it. Okay, so, so these are some very interesting things uh, that. Uh, but why I am talking this is then immediately after that came the Pradhan Mantri Jandan Yojana. Right? Jandan, Aadhaar, and Mobile Jam. Okay. And he started synchronizing these three well in 2016 itself. And then came a UPI. Today, UPI is a pride of Today. Nowhere in the world that this level of transactions are happening. And we have seen today the largest database, largest transaction that is happening today is on the SBI platform. Undoubtedly. Millions of transactions. How many ATMs? 50,000, 75,000 ATMs today. I think uh, uh, IOB is 50. This is 75,000 ATMs. And every ATM today is working. I mean, 90% of the ATMs are working. And RBI also now has the guts to say, if an ATM fails for more than two hours, there will be a penalty. So, that level, connectivity has increased. It is not, see, ATM working, there is a machine, but there is a generator and everything. 
And finally, there is a network connectivity which is beyond the control of the banks. Today, MPLS has come in a very big way. The networking infrastructure is booming. There is no Bharat net coming. So all these things are linked. And suppose somebody has to put a Bharat net. Why should I put a Bharat net? What is the return on investment? Now I see that, you know, even post offices today are enabled to become banks. Post office was doing just basically postal services. Now it has become banks. So I think these are some of the very interesting uh, things that have come up. And then this is one thing that I have been telling, right? Uh, if India has to grow, somebody says, when will Shakti chip become commercial? I am an academic institution. We have made three chips that are working, right? We showed that it works. We showed that the entire ecosystem is possible in India. We designed the chip in IIT Madras. We made the back-end design in IIT Madras. We fabricated in semiconductor complex Chandigarh. We designed the PCB in IIT Madras. We manufactured the PCB in uh, Bangalore. We assembled the PCT in... Uh, after the chip came, we assembled the motherboard in uh, our uh, Sri Parambudur. And then we booted it back. We developed the software here. We had the board support package. We did all these... Uh, Things we have done it in IIT Madras. Beyond that, what every industry has to now come and take it. So, why is industry not taking or going to take? Industry need to have Atma Vishwas on our technology. Right? I don't know how much it is true. But Gorbachev had a Japanese friend. And that fellow's pencil was breaking every time. When he was writing, what was in Russia? Then he asked, no, why don't you buy this UK pencil here? It will work nicely. Then the Japanese started crying, it seems. See, if I don't buy my own pencil... Who else will buy? And today, Japanese pencils are the best in the world. Okay, so that is where, you know, that sort of a patriotism should be there. That Atma Vishwas is very, very necessary for us to take forward. And that is what uh, Prime Minister has talked about this. Um, laid a strong foundation which prompted the nation to build on its Atma Vishwas through all his Man Ki Baat program. The very fact that the citizen felt connected to the Prime Minister every month through Man Ki Baat, through feedback me mechanisms on the web, in the Monkey Bath website itself and especially through Namo app. The app was launched in July 2015. And the feedback, people started feeling connected with the uh, top, top office of our country. Right. And this is also something that we need to start remembering some people who have talked about this. You see, forgetting history is also very bad. If the present sits in judgment over the past, we don't have future. If the present fails to learn lessons from the past, again, it doesn't have future. Now, these are some of the very interesting things about Sham, Sham, Shama Prasad Mukherjee. And these are some things I thought should be very important for the young generation to know. Shama Prasad Mukherjee was one of, he was in the, uh, in, the in the administration and in the independent India, the first administration in the independent India. And in a sense, he laid a strong foundation for India's industrial development. And he had prepared a solid base as it was he who had prepared a stout platform at the point of time. The first industrial policy of independent India, which came in 1948, was stamped with his ideas and vision. Where if you go and look at that policy, I want all of you to read that policy. Where Dr. Mukherjee's dream was for India to be industrially self-reliant, competent and prosperous in every sphere. And then he has listed so many things on for those days. Look at that. He had wanted India to develop heavy industries. And also pay full attention to MSME, handloom, textiles and cottage industry. These are the things that would have given a lot more of employment for us. And for the proper development of cottage and small industries with finance availability and organizational setup, All India Handicrafts Board, All India Handloom Board and Kadi and Village Industries Board were established between 1948 and 19. There was also a special emphasis by Dr. Mukherjee on indigenization of India's defense production. In the establishment of four most successful mega projects like Chitranjan Locomotive Works uh, for the, uh, you know, all our uh, railway needs at that point of time. And the Hindustan Aircraft Factory, Sindri Fertilizer Factory and Damodar Valley Corporation and other river valley projects. So, see the type of spectrum that he has been addressed. And all these are for self-reliance. And Dr. Shyama Prasad Mukherjee contributed significantly. These are some subtle points we take from this monkey bar. This is episode number 45. Okay. Now, Atma Nirbhar Bharat Abhyan, our self-reliant India, is one of the hallmark envisions, uh, uh, visions in Visash. The campaign for this actually started somewhere in 2019. 
and but this was aptly followed uh, uh, by our Prime Minister in his Man Ki Baat episode number 60 in December 2019, uh, right? And there he mentioned about uh, entrepreneurship. But that was not a very big announcement at that point of time. We made a passing reference, my dear countrymen. It is very important for all of us that the citizens of our country become self-reliant and live their lives with dignity. So this was the statement where he was thinking with uh, entrepreneurship. Uh, 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 becoming an employer, becoming ours, we employ our own people rather than going out. And that was the connotation. But all of this amplified, uh, you know, for various reasons, various reasons, where the whole country felt at some point of time helpless. But thanks to all our scientists and all our engineers who came out with, for example, the Aroge Setu in 21 days, a contact tracing app working till today. 20 crore customers have used that. 20 crore people have used that. Very high performing uh, app. The COVID app. Then ventilators. Then all these uh, quick oxygen beds. Vaccine. Kind of. So all these things were that day's need. And people were taking us for a ride. We did not have masks. We did not have, uh, you know, testing kits. People came out with testing kits. But it took time. And I was also part of many of these at the government level and I know the I know the sort of heartburns that we have. And this particular statement on May 2020, which PM said, it really came from his heart. And that is what I we all believed and that was we are all sitting at our home on May 2020 and that this statement was really refreshing. So let me read the statement. Our PM raised a clarion call to the nation, giving a kickstart to Atmanirbar Bharat Abhyan, self-reliant India campaign. In the, and announced the special economic and comprehensive package of 20 lakh crores, equivalent to 10 percent of uh, India's GDP, to fight co GDP to fight COVID-19 pandemic in India. And during the period of lockdown, with policy support from the central government and personal monitoring by Prime Minister, our nation innovated and indigenously successfully developed vaccines, which helped India to achieve 200 plus crore vaccination. So, this is one example or outcome. But Atman Nirbharta came in its full glory at that point of time. And that is certainly from the heart because as a country, we were feeling helpless in many of this. And we said that we need to come out of this. So, these are some of the things uh, after that part. Now, I am noticing my country's young mind focusing themselves on excellence. They want to do the best using the best methods. This too will emerge as a major force for the nation referring to the success and the transformation of many of this. And today, I also wish to draw the attention to the budget today. Just look at these two centrally sponsored schemes and central sector schemes, which reflected all that we had been. Right? So, to just uh, conclude, uh, we believe that uh, Monkey Bath has singularly continu continued to be one prime reason for transforming a nation with nearly 130 uh, crore. 1.3 billion population from inculcating a sense of Atma Vishwas and taking successful strides in the long parts towards Atma Nirbhar and in the process making India our nation a goddess Seshwar. So this is what I had here. Uh, I thought we will take this as an opportunity to take monkey baths as a and think and do this workshop just motivate all of us to